as most of you know, I adopted a rescue husky last month, Momo. Now, Shenzhen is really no place for a snow dog, but this is where she is and where I am, we are making the best of it. I keep my office very cold for her, but she still likes to spend a lot of time outside on the patio. Even if I call her, she's reluctant to come in. So I'd like to build her a nice place to sleep at night and stay out of the sun during the day. Maybe at a few bells and whistles, something like a doghouse, but much cooler of course, because my dog can have a boring ordinary doghouse. When living outdoors, Huskies like to burrow into the ground and make themselves a den. And Momo is like that around the lair, likes to go in an uh, enclosed space behind a file cabinet. So on a hunch, I got some 400 millimeters PVC pipe and a tea connector and let it out for her in my kitchen. And over the last few weeks, it's become one of her favorite places to take a nap. So I'm going to glue it together move it outside and mount it in the shade and a little bit off the ground for her to keep the inside clean and dry. Her paws get a good grip on the inside, so I'm not worried about her sliding around and leaving the PVC bare means it's easy to hose out if she brings food in there or something. She also doesn't chew things, so I don't have to worry about her eating the plastic. If your dog does, this probably isn't a good idea. And of course, houses and beds for pets, all that stuff. It's about, it's about them, not us. We can't force them to use it. Sometimes they prefer the box. I'm building this understanding she may suddenly not like her pipe anymore and may never use it. And that's okay. It's just a fun project, so she has the option if she wants. There's some debate around using PVC primer versus not using PVC primer. I don't. The reason why is in the link below. But I do like to send it and take the first off so that Momo doesn't get this scrape when she pulls herself into the tube. Now I am applying the softened cement to both sides of the PVC pipe. It doesn't need to carry water under pressure or anything like that. It just needs to be pretty strong and keep the ring out. Now I put it together and a few taps with the rubber mallet. Obviously, I don't want to use a hammer for this. It might mark the side or even leave a sharp spot that might catch Momo. And apply the softened cement again. Now obviously indoors, you might want to wear respirator for this but there's a nice breeze here and I'm just doing a little bit of gluing so I'm not too worried but if you glue a lot of PVC, definitely wear a respirator Are you insane? Get out of there! Try to kill yourself! Get yourself killed! No. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel.
I'm just putting a little bit of a duct tape on the edges. Want to protect my fingers from splinters, but also to add as a little bit of a gasky when I slide it into the window here. This room is slightly below ground level, so any air that comes from it, even with the air conditioning off, that's much much cooler than outside. That's where I'm gonna be blowing air from this room out into Momo's tube to make sure she stays cool during the summer. Okay, so I just want to give her some ventilation from the house to keep her cool. So I'm going to hook this fan up. Momo. So I have this infrared photo sensor. It will detect when Momo is in the tube and turn the fan on. Okay, now I'm just making a hole for that infrared sensor. So when Momo is inside, the air will get blown up from below ground level of that very cool room and keep her cool, but we won't waste electricity when she's not in there. This is Sato Ichi. She is a blind kitten that Momo found when they're in the street. I think the kitty is crying, Momo. Are you making friends, Momo? I don't know if her mother is looking for her, so I put her in Momo's tube to stay for the night outside. I think it will be safe for her. Hello, kitty. Meow. Satoichi had some tuna and rested for a few hours, but then she got bored and wanted to explore, so she climbed out of her tube. Oh, Satoichi is so blind, so mostly she just bumped into walls. It took her a few hours, but 
Eventually, Satoichi made her way to the front patio in front of the house. She was walking in circles, but then something drew her towards the front gate. She must have heard something, and she started crying and walking towards the front gate. Here comes Satoichi's father and mother. They heard her crying, and I think they came to rescue her. It took a few minutes, but eventually they convinced her to. Crawl out underneath the gate. You can see Satoichi's mother is very happy to have her back. So it was a happy ending for everyone. Even for Momo, who gets her husky tooth back.